Today's video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Now I'm going to ask you to do something. Imagine you're a pirate. Now you don't use Surfshark because it's 1652 and it hasn't been invented yet. So you're shopping online for cannonballs without a VPN and you're waiting for your delivery but by thunder, the navy! It turns out they've been spying on your transactions all along. Could have avoided it with Surfshark. Their advanced encryption gives you an extra layer of protection online. Okay, so you escape the Navy and your ship becomes becalmed. You decide to fill the time with some of your favourite TV series from back home. But blistering barnacles! They're region locked! Wouldn't be a problem with Surfshark. Surfshark enables you to get around region locks so you can watch content from all over the world like a true buccaneer. And because you can use Surfshark on an unlimited number of devices, you could get it on every ship in your fleet. What's more, if you don't want to part with too much treasure, Surfshark offers 83% off with 3 months extra free for all viewers of this channel. Just go to surfshark.deal slash jago and enter the promo code jago at the checkout to take advantage of this offer. I'll put a link in the description below. There's even a 30 day money back guarantee for all cautious sailors. Now my fine lads. Let's take a look at a ship of a different ilk. The Greenwich Peninsula is a fascinating place with a lot of history. There are plenty of hints as to its industrial past if you keep your eyes open. But none are more eye-catching than this, next to the O2. It's a ship. Or part of one. What's the story? A terrible accident? A captain who was too slow to move when the area was redeveloped? Well, no. It's actually art. This is... A slice of reality. It was created in 1999 by Richard Wilson. I don't believe it! No, not that one. Wilson is a sculptor whose particular area of interest is what critics call architectural interventions. Put simply, messing around with buildings and spaces to make you really think about them. This is another of his works, Square the Block on Kingsway in Hoban. I actually like this, just because we pass these stone buildings all the time and never really pay them any attention, so it's quite jarring to see this. It creates context, or something. It's all terribly subversive, darling. A Slice of Reality was commissioned for the Millennium, along with a number of other sculptures. This was something called the North Meadows Sculpture Project. The sculptures were to be built on the peninsula itself, but Wilson, along with Anthony Gormley and his quantum cloud, decided to be subversive, there's that word again, and build in the river. He describes this as building out in the real world, and a slice of reality was... Oh, wait, now I get the name. A slice of reality consists of a section, a slice if you will, taken out of a ship. It was originally the ocean-going sand dredger Arco Trent, built in 1971. Constructed by Appledore Ferguson Shipyards and owned by ARC Marine. It was a suction dredger, think of it as a giant floating vacuum cleaner, sucking up excess sand from the seabed to give safe passage to ships. The sculpture was planned in 1998, and the Arco Trent was withdrawn from service in 1999. The website Ship Spotting has some information on it, and describes its current status as sculpture, sculpture being put in sneering quotation marks. I guess the uh, webmaster is not a fan of modern art. Dredgepoint.org describes the ship as rebuilt. Yeah, you could say that. The section that remains comprises about 15% of the ship, and includes the habitable sections and part of the engine room. It includes fixtures and fittings, literally as if the whole thing was lifted out of a working ship. Does anyone remember those incredible cross-sections books from the 90s? This really reminds me of one of those. So what does it all mean? Well, lots of things. It represents the industry and shipping that used to crowd this area. It represents the zero meridian of longitude which passes through on its way to Greenwich. More recent critics have seen echoes of modern concerns with environmentalism and recycling. Wilson describes it as a sound bite, i.e. a small bit of something that gives you an idea of the whole thing. It isn't intended to last forever, which is kind of a response to the fact that it was commissioned for the millennium. It's mounted on pilings open to the elements. 
The effects of time and weather on the vessel are integral to the piece and eventually it will collapse into the river. This is also my excuse for not fixing the broken shelf in my flat. I first encountered this piece in about 2007 when I was exploring the peninsula before a lot of the current development was in place. When I sighted it at a distance, I initially hoped I'd found a working wharf because I'm boring like that. When I looked it up later, there was a curious story attached to it. I'm pretty certain it's an urban legend, but I mention it here anyway. The story goes that the sculptures were only intended for the year 2000 to be dismantled when the Millennium Celebrations ended. However, when the organisers of the North Meadows Sculpture Project approached Wilson to take a slice of reality down, he refused. He pointed out that technically the river is under the jurisdiction of the Port of London Authority. A slice of reality is still a ship. So all he needed to do was get mooring rights and he'd be allowed to keep his sculpture there forever. As I say, I am pretty sure this story is completely false, but I like it. So, I hope you enjoyed this entirely unseaworthy video. If you did, I would be most grateful if you'd hit the like button. And if the concept of subscribing for more of my content was one that's crossed your mind. What do you think of the slice of reality? Is it thought-provoking, quirky and subversive, or is it pretentious and ugly? How does it make you feel? Let me know in the comments section. Thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Visit the link in the description below to take advantage of their special offer. And I'll see you all again very soon. Cheerio.